welcome back to motherfucking Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Time and hit to the music. Trying to, anyway. But, yeah. Just defeated Raditz. We leveled up. And now... Let's get to this. What? What are you doing? Now, Piccolo! Do it! Do it! Special Beam I love how they're just so committed to not showing that gaping hole in the chest like they did in Budokai 1. Serves you right. Everything seems the same there, right? Pretty much. What was that? Where did... Defeated Raditz. I'm off in the distance somewhere. Teleport back to my time. Everything's pretty much the same, right? Ooh, except for that. And thus is how these scenarios become much more interesting and much more different. But we made it back! That was some handy work. Those moves weren't half bad. It's like you've done this shit before! <laughs> Except for your entrance. Yeah, you kind of fell on your fucking ass, didn't you? Goku and Piccolo would surely have been defeated if you hadn't stepped in and saved them. Would have been totally boned if you wouldn't have come in to slap Raditz in the tits. <laughs> your job is helping to correct any inconsistencies like this that crop up in the timeline. And to bring me back playboys from different decades. Those Earth bitches are fine. This time went smoothly, but battles later on in history get intense. So... So be sure to pack plenty of cranberry cap energy capsules, sorry. So continue with your training, because only the strong can correct history. And drink plenty of cranberry juice, did you get the I like cranberries yet? But since you're training under the greatest Kai in the universe, there shouldn't be much to worry about. <laughs> That's right. I'm, I gotta admit, I'm pretty fucking rad. As long as you listen to my advice, you'll come into your own eventually. And... And what? Yeah, we get it. You really do ramble, old man. Oh, like, oh my listen god. Here, Supreme Kai listen here, you frumpy bitch. I'm only about a millennium older than you. That hardly makes me an old man. That's right, it makes me spry as a June bug in a cranberry field. What are you saying? Anyone who laid eyes on you would easily call you an old man. So fucking old, bitch. Don't even try to compare yourself to an adorable girl like me. It's adorable! You call yourself adorable? How do you find a hat with a head that big? You're like fucking pedal bait or something like that. <laughs> That's all from us for the moment. We'll tell you more about the world later on. All right. Okay, then. You've got to be bored half to death after listening to his speeches. Am I right? God, you make a lot of assumptions. Maybe I wanted to talk to him. Allow me to walk you out. This way, please. Hey, wait! You can't just jump ahead like that. Yeah. But just to um, give you more of a story context, because everyone forgot who the hero was because of a wish that was made on the Dragon Balls, so did my character, and so did his ability, or so he lost his ability to go Super Saiyan 4 because he forgot really how to go about it. So that explains why he's back in this. It's not totally because the modding community hasn't taken off for Xenoverse 2 yet. But then again, we're only a couple of hours into the game's lifespan, so who knows what could happen in between now and the end of the series. Let's see. This place was put, this place was put in danger by a real nasty person who warped time. 
one hero bravely saved the city. No, not just the city, but the entire universe. It's history and everything. The hero who you mended when, who mended time was saved by this hero. Take a look, or, oh fuck. Take a look, this is that very hero. Okay guys, gotta cut it off for just a second because I can't let you guys see who I pick. Hey everybody, welcome back to motherfucking Xenoverse in the exact same fucking episode. I'm an idiot. Um, but anyway, it's time to look around Canton City. I have chosen the hero to represent the hero from Xenoverse 1 and I'm going to try my damnedest to keep it a secret until he appears. So let's get to it. I have a few custom moves, but I'm going to use them as I escalate through the story. Here you can learn the ba uh, basics of battle through the other guy's challenge quest. You can also take advancement tests to raise your class. Furthermore, the fighters will act as your teachers, instructing you in various techniques. There are other teachers in Canton City as well, so be sure to seek them out and benefit from their instruction. To increase your training level by clearing quests and undergoing training, once you have progressed far enough, advancement test quests will become available. Clearing these will change um, your class, giving you access to new skills through teachers. And the cool thing is, is that like you can pretty much do like like right off the bat, you can do quests from all the teachers that are available and you can get up to the next class before you even go to the next part outside of Zarbon and Dodoria and the first little uh, Saiyan Saga thing. But let's see. You must become stronger and stronger. Use the cranberry well to build up your skills. So yeah, that was, that was something. You can talk to Kriller over here and um, you can kind of talk to him and you know what? I um, I'm not gonna talk to him right now. But hold on. I gotta use the map, and I gotta be careful not to show you guys who is the hero of of the city. Hold on, give me guys, give me just a second, guys. I'll be right back again. Seriously, don't want to ruin the surprise. Hey guys, turns out I had nothing to worry about. <laughs> So now it's time for the parallel quest tutorial. Me and the patrolman. Yay! So let's do that shit. And for that, I'm gonna show you guys a little something. Kinda interesting. Oh, Jacko is unlocked right off the bat, like in the game. That's pretty cool. But, uh, who's also unlocked? Wait. Whoa, hold on. Whoa, whoa. What the fuck? I'm gonna have to figure that out because I'm supposed to have Goku Black as a character. But I'll figure that out later. Hmm. I'm gonna go with Piccolo. And I'm gonna go with Vegeta. Send your prayers. I'm gonna go with Vegeta's. And Prickler. All right. All right. You want to know what it means to be a part of the Time Patrol? Well, listen up and listen good. Let's start with the basics. Activate that trusty scouter. Yeah, that trusty scouter items of mine. Around? Well, pick them up. All right. So let's go ahead and do this. There's one. Nice. That seems to be all of them. Now, let's ready to go. Let me go. Let me go. Here we go. I was gonna say I know that um, Xenoverse 2, like the developers have gone on record to say that they aren't adding a lot of new stages. 
This is a new one. Reminds me a lot of Budokai 3 and 2. Alright, time to find Cruller. I can? Remember, when you're down and out, use assist to provide your friends with backup. I did it. Just lock on to your character, get close enough to him, and yeah. Man, I got my clock clean. Thanks. I needed that. You're a welcome, Cruller. Something's headed this way. Something bad. It's Team Three Star. I just thought about it. Or actually, this is like Team Lanny Pator. <laughs> I don't have time to deal with you. Hurry up and die! Because in yeah. Team Four Star, they're all based around uh, Lanny uh, voices all three of those characters. All right. Get him! Love Matt Kick. It's one of the moves that I imported, by the way. By the way, I got a lot of fucking medals and Zenny for importing um, my uh, hero from the first game, so definitely worth it to um, have a save file from the first game. Damn, stamina bar broke. So we're gonna go with that one first. Interesting. I just learned how to do that, guys. It's um, left trigger and A towards whoever it is that you want to actually uh, teleport towards. Yeah, that's right. I got an ultimate attack I can show you guys. and this is new to this quest specifically is that there are some time patrollers that you could fight in the very first mission so that's pretty cool How are you? let's do this we can piss out of here let's do this All right, let's do this. Shit. Probably missed that. Definitely missed that. But yeah, I chose Explosive Assault. It's a move that I uh, really like the animations and the style of attack of. Let's try it. God damn. Why doesn't that hit? Oh well. That hits. Here. God, I really gotta upgrade. Shit. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Yeah. See, the player who lands the final blow will be rewarded, as are all party members. So maybe that means that you don't necessarily have to be the person who lands the final blow to get something good. 
but maybe it'll increase your odds. Shit. I was aiming in the wrong direction. Bam! See, higher level foes will give you better rewards. You might even get a Dragon Ball. Shit. I'm gonna try a final blow and show it to you guys. Here we go. Down Chin Tian. Piccolo. We're fighting, then I'll go all out. Of course. Why does it their life depend on? Oh shit. Yeah, damn, that's a good punch. Ooh, damn. So I can't link that with a combo. I can use it to close the distance, though. So that's still good. Gotcha! That's one. Now let's get TN. God, me and Piccolo are just kicking him in the dick. Awesome. Why don't you mosey on back my way? I might do that, Joe, and you ever for a glass of cranberry juice and while I'm doing that I think this is a good place to stop it for right now but thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe um we'll be doing some more stuff here in just a second so thank you guys for watching this is Ostuni signing off Girl.